News 18, weather from where you live. Well, the clouds are rolling in from south to north over the area. We're trying to get some rain to the ground in our southern counties, but the air is very dry. If we are able to get anything to the ground this evening, it's going to be pretty light and pretty spotty. I think the better chance of getting rainfall is going to be during the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning with perhaps even a couple of thunderstorms embedded. And then a break for a while tomorrow afternoon before we see a few more spotty showers or a thunderstorm during the late afternoon and evening. And then dry Friday or dry between another wave of rain for the upcoming weekend and then turning cooler next week, even some frost. Upper, upper 40s to mid 50s tonight, 52 Lafayette, 54 Covington. Still kind of breezy, not as windy as it was today. And the fire danger will come down upper 60s to low 70s tomorrow 69 Delphi 70 Lafayette and will still be warm on Friday with dry weather. How about low to mid 70s? But tonight and into tomorrow morning, some showers developing, perhaps even an isolated thunderstorm or two. This is 530 radar snapshot with our precision future cast. Then a break for a while late tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon with perhaps even a little sun coming out. But by later afternoon, a few more spotty showers, perhaps a little isolated thunderstorm will pop again. But then the clouds start to break up tomorrow night. We'll drop to near 50 to the low 50s. Could even be a little fog that develops in places as the winds go calm. And then for Friday itself, not a bad day. Partly cloudy skies, the warm temperatures before another round of rainfall comes in for the weekend. That'll come in on Saturday. Showers, numerous showers, perhaps an isolated thunderstorm or two, 68. Kind of showery on Sunday, 62. So a streak of nice weekends comes to an end. And then cooler next week, 58 Monday, a hair warmer Tuesday at 61. And then we're back into the 50s on Wednesday. But overnight lows, you know, we may find several nights where we drop down in the 30s with some frost. The good news is very late next week, we could see the temperature rapidly rebound again. And even though that wind brought about a pretty high brush fire danger today, it has dried out soils and there are a lot of farmers working today. And Boy, two weeks ago it looked very bleak with wet, cold soil. Yeah, uh, Friday looks great, doesn't it? It does. It'd be a perfect day. Okay.